everyone this is creating craziness and today we're doing something different you're probably wondering why you're seeing a cat well since i don't really like to show my face i thought you know what could i put on the screen so it wouldn't be boring i mean i have a very cute cat and she likes to be filmed most of the time so i thought why not use it for, for my own benefit and hers because the cuteness needs to be seen moving on uh what i'm doing today is presenting you the books i'm going to read in the book button challenge uh if you don't know in the last i think five years uh there has been a book button challenge here on booktube the book part of youtube and this year is from 30th of july until 5th of august so it's really close and uh, there are seven challenges for you know seven days i'm going to put uh, a link in the description where ariel talks explained this a lot better than me so yeah i know this is different but i have sort of an explanation you'll see when, when i talk more about the books i'm going to read the first challenge i'm not going to do, do it right now because it's a ton cost to decide what is the first book that i should read so since i haven't told you the books that i'm going to read let's start with the second challenge which is Read a book about something you want to do. So, uh, since I was a little kid, I always wanted to visit Egypt and the pyramids and something like that. You know, seeing the greatness and probably sweat to that being there. And that's something I don't want to do, but you know, it's involved. <laughs> Moving on. The book I chose for this challenge is The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. I've never read a Rick Riordan book, to be honest. So I hope it will be something that I like. It's a middle grade, from what I think. He usually does only middle grade books or something like that. And it seems to be sort of a premise like that with uh, Egyptian gods and I hope pyramids so we'll see the books I chose for the third and fourth challenge it can be used for both of the challenges sort of so third challenge is read and watch a book to movie adaptation uh, the book I chose is perfume the story of a murderer this is sort of a cheating thing because Proving the Story of Murder is my favorite movie, but I've never read the book, so I wanted to try her out. And now you are going to understand that the fourth one is read a book with green on the cover, which is the girl, the girl on the train. Since I've never read or seen the movie, I'm probably going to do that too. So, this too, since the third of the book was sort of a cheating, I thought I would add an actual book that I've never read and seen the movie. And since this one has green on the cover, it's good for both of the challenges. The fifth challenge is read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. I'm probably going to do that, but since you're not going to see it and Pumpkin won't like me to put things on her uh, I'll do it just for myself and you will have to imagine that I'm wearing it For this challenge I chose comic which is kind of related with this channel because I chose to read the Dragon Age comic Volume 1, which is a six issue mini series. And for anyone that knows me, I love the Dragon Age world from the 
the first one, even the second one, I mean, who could resist Penrose? I couldn't. I just love him to death. And uh, yeah, since I've never read it, I actually haven't even read the books, but I thought start with something that would be more comfortable with. So yeah, Dragon Age Volume 1 for the fifth challenge. For the sixth challenge, read, read the book with a beautiful spine. I thought maybe I could use it on the perfume story of a murder because the cover is absolutely gorgeous. As you probably can see it on the screen, it's just whoever did that cover, it's freaking amazing and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And since you can see the book spans of ebooks, because yeah, I basically only read ebooks, I don't really like physical books. So yeah, that's why you see screenshots of not screenshots, uh, images of the books and not the actual book. I'm complicated like that. And the seventh challenge is read seven books. So the next books that I'm going to read, they're also comics. They're also in the Dragon Age universe. I'm going to read the, the mini series of the Silent Grove, the, the Who those who speak and until we sleep which are also mini series so i think this sort of makes it a gaming stuff challenge at least for me and if i even have time i'm probably going to start reading the first book of the the dragon age series which is called The Stone Throne by David Garder? Garder? I don't know how to pronounce his name. But yeah, maybe if I still have time, I mean, I still have to read three books and see two movies and then even read the comics. And now for my first challenge, which is do a toss coin to see which one should I read first. I'm going to do it between Perfume, the story of a murderer and the girl on the train. Head for Perfume, Tails for Train. And it's Tail. So I'm going to read uh, the girl on the train first. So yeah. I think that will be all for this one. If you're interested, I have the links down below for you to get more details because I probably explained that very poorly. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Till the next time. Bye.